All right, so today we are going to talk about the K van. So, <clears throat> if you see my other video, you saw me going into a little bit of detail of why you would want a K truck. Um, pros and cons, of course, with two wheel drive, four wheel drive, um, the different brands. Um, today, I'm going to talk about my Activan, Toshi. Um, recently picked up Toshi from a gentleman in Baltimore, Maryland. That was my longest trip. I'm in North Carolina. I rented a car. I drove to Baltimore. I picked up Toshi and I drove Toshi to DC. Um, that was on highways. That was about 50 minutes took me probably an hour and 45 minutes. Um, from DC, I left to come back to North Carolina and that took me about eight hours, eight and a half hours. Um, I took, I did non-highways. I didn't go any faster than about 51 miles per hour or between 80 and 90 kilometers. Um, I was a bit skeptical. Um, there's been no maintenance done. Um, the, gen the gentleman, Kempton, bought it from um, Nippon in Jacksonville. You guys may be familiar with him. Um, it, I guess it really depends on, you know, what he chooses to do for his imports. Um, he put, he painted this one, put the light bar on there, the Amazon light. Um, of course, the badges, he put some Super Digger off-road tires on there. That's about it. So um, the previous owner uh, flew out to Florida, then drove it back to Maryland. I was a bit nervous driving it back just because there's no record of the timing belt being changed um, or any, anything like that. Um, but so we'll go into detail a little bit more about it. So again, Toshi. Um, Toshi is a 1991, is what we're thinking, or 92, or maybe 93, uh, 90s, okay, and, um, in pretty good shape, um, there's, it has a two-inch lift on it right now, I'm gonna be taking the two-inch lift off and running the Honda Fit wheels, has the roof rack that everyone keeps asking about, it, it looks like that, um, Nippon does something, it just welds these brackets, to some Harbor Freight um, cargo rack, but, and has the awning on there. Previous owner added that. Um, some tent. And we'll open it up. All right, so we'll open the back as well. So to get into a little bit of detail of would you, should you get a truck or should you get a van? I was always for the truck. I love the trucks. I think they're awesome. I started feeling a little bit different about the truck once I went on like a, maybe like a, an hour trip. Um, well, that's about how long it took me to, to get to the destination. And then, you know, your legs are, are so cramped and just your, your big toe is on the throttle. Um, I'm 5'8", and I was pretty cramped. For around town, just to go to the grocery store, grab breakfast, get a cup of coffee, it's perfect. Of course, I, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love the mini trucks. But the van... I'm telling you, I thought I was in luxury. The drive, the eight hour drive was no problem. No problem at all. I had the, um, I'll open it up. I had the, the, the chair leaned back, relax. Of course, some features with the van is you can adjust the steering wheel. You can slide the seat up and back um, or forward and back. The seat will also recline all the way back. Of course, adjustable headrests. I prefer the brown interior. This is uh, another reason why I wanted Toshi is because of the condition. Let me unlock this. Uh, and another thing, of course, is 
these folding down. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, so to be able to fold these down completely is awesome. So comfort is huge. People don't realize how much room is in the back of these vans. It's actually quite a bit of room. Um, yeah, so room is a big thing for me now that I have driven the van. Um, I will say, I mean, it gets as much as many looks as the truck. So kind of to my other video, um, signing a lot of autographs, it's like driving a Ferrari. Um, yes, with the van, um, maybe not so much. Um, I can definitely tell also just, you know, it's a little bit heavier. Of course, this one's four wheel drive. It's not as fast. Um, but, but I mean, th no one buys one of these thinking it's going to be fast. I mean, you're getting it for the city. So to all of those people thinking that they're going to get this and they're going to rip down highway 95 for four hours to go somewhere. Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and do it. You know, don't, you know, the truck will probably, or the van will probably make it, but they're not, again, they're not intended to go that long at that RPMs. They're made for in the city. Um, a cool thing, I was all, I kept going back and forth on, did I want a two wheel drive or did I want a four wheel drive? Um, so I went with this four wheel drive just because I had the two wheel drive truck, which is for sale. But the great thing about this is there is a selector right there. So this bolt backs out and you can adjust and turn it from two wheel drive to four wheel drive with this bolt. So I'm not sure if you heard me, but if you go skip back to the image, the bolt on the right backs out and you can turn the bolt on the left to select to turn to four wheel drive or two wheel drive, which is a major difference in um, gas mileage and you can definitely feel it in the power. Um, again, with the K-Vans, it goes back to your personal preference. Um, Suzuki Carry is a popular brand. Um, if I could have got to chose any van that I wanted, it would have probably been a Mitsubishi Bravo Super Exceed mini cab with the aero roof. Um, a lot of people love the Subaru Sandbar, the supercharged one, um, but those are a lot harder to find. Um, again, I'm a fan of the Hondas. I think it looks cool. Um, I love the glass fog lights on the bottom even though they're extremely rusted inside and only one of them works it's okay but yeah this is my 1991 honda axi van and so we can go for like a short ride in we'll see what see if i can record and See if I can record and drive at the same time. Oops. It would help if I can get this locked or shut. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. Let's set it right here to start. And of course, this unit has air conditioner as well. Um, I try not to run the AC just because it you know, it takes a lot of horsepower. We're not working with much to begin with. So.
So as you see, the room in the back and then up front, it's very spacious. Again, the chairs roll back. So yeah, that, that's about all I can think of. That's just some key points, some things I like about the van. I am, to, to finish this video up, I would definitely say van over the truck any day. As far as if you're looking for something off road or just in the city, the van is gonna be way more doable and way more comfortable. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave any comments and um, I'll get right back to you. See ya.